You can't please all the people. You gotta please yourself first. Everybody else comes second. You can't be loved or love unless you love yourself first. Nobody loves Dan like Dan. And Sally would tell you, I worship the ground Dan walks on, but my love for my husband is transitory compared to the love he has for himself. Transitory means nothing. The love I have for myself transcends anybody's love for me. And I know, I'm not gonna get too religious, God loves us all supposedly, right? Well, he doesn't love me as much as I fucking love myself. I guarantee fucking tea it. I'll get a bunch of shit for that too, you know? Singaporean Indian, or is it Indian Singaporean? Well, anyway, he's Indian by heritage, born and raised in Singapore though. Always been with Fortune 50 companies. He, he knows, other than he had never done it for his own account, he, which opened his eyes. He couldn't believe it. Which videos? The webinars, yeah, you will. Yeah. But I mean, the young kids, their eyes are open, but when you've been out there, you know, and he's considered successful. I mean, he has done some calculations, what he should have a net worth of after uh, not 27 years, but let's say the last 15 years. And he says that it makes you want to commit suicide. Totally what? Totally oh yeah, he is, he's passionate. And But if you're not passionate guys and gals, you'll still be successful, but it'll take you a lot longer. And I want you to do it as quickly as humanly possible. And he's, well, he's not old to me, but he's certainly old to you. But he is he's passionate, he's working hard at it. And um, the harder he works, the luckier he gets at it. But he was in the peripheral, Periphery is the right word of that big hitters, but he wasn't in that group. So it, it is out of his comfort zone for him to reach out, but he has, and he's done well, and he's done it in a very systematic, and he's followed the steps precisely. And the guys that follow, and the gals that follow the steps precisely are the guys that lead the classes. The guys that go from the first step to the fifth step, which is the normal inclination. The chart's coming up again in a, a few minutes. They skip the first four because they don't think that, that building the perception and, and, uh, and vision and all that stuff is important and they go right to the chase and they go to their father-in-law, their brother-in-law, their cousin who's a lawyer and then Joe Schwartz who's an accountant. I mean, everybody makes the same fucking air. And even though I tell everybody on your weekly part, but as soon as I see that fucking butt, I know you're not doing it right. You know you're not following the steps, and, and you, but you've got a reason. It's different in Chile. It's different in Ukraine. It's different in South Africa. It's different in Uganda. I mean, I've heard it different in a hundred different, but it's not different in any of them. It's always the same. It's always the same. But it gives you a good mix, you know, a comparison to a young guy that you've seen and uh, the guy that's doing the LBO in New York and, uh, and him and you'll see a couple more, and then you'll see the best deal I've seen in 20, 25 years, the last day, live, and they, they're all gonna say the same thing. As I said, I can show you people that are stepping on their dick and stumbling. They'll still get it done, but it'll just take longer. It'll just take longer. The year mentor program is not for you to wait to a year to do a deal, but so you have two, three deals done, so I can help guide you to those deals. I got a, another email from one of the guys, and I happen to be the chairman of it in Singapore, so when I go for a board meeting, uh, I've got probably a half a dozen guys in Singapore that are based there. If you're going to be in that part of the world, that's a good place to be based. What is uh, the takeaway from uh, him? Other than he's got as much white hair as I do, he's got more white hair than I have, but he's got white hair. I mean, he's old. Never too late to start. Yes. He makes you look young. <laughs> You too, Doc, with all her, uh, now I know everybody believes that's all her natural hair. See, you guys won't call her a liar. I would. That's the difference, see? I mean, I've never known a woman that tells 100% the truth ever. And I've known women a lot longer than you. And both in a biblical sense and in a, a friendship sense, I've known a lot more women than you. So what else about him? I think the smallest one uh, is probably 25 million. As he said, I gotta get the first one. And uh, I think the first one's the most motivated. But some of these, and I've told you, you knock one of them off and they know 25 other companies similar to them. And a lot of people come to buy companies, but they can never have, they never can find the finance. You heard in the webinar from Josh yesterday, in words of the effect, I now have a reputation of being able to find the finance. So people are coming to me. It's not that they don't want to sell. It's that they've been disappointed so many times because people come to them wanting to buy their businesses. But at the end of the day, the other people don't come up with the money. And when you get a reputation of coming up with the money, and years and years and years ago, uh, when I raised a billion dollars, when you couldn't raise money for oil and gas, when oil went from $41 a barrel to $8 a barrel, I was able to raise money. So I got a reputation for that. And the kids now, i.e. Josh and others, are getting the reputation of being able to come up with the money. And once it gets on the street, 
that you can actually finance these deals. I mean, you won't have, the good news is you won't have time to do them all. The good news is you won't have time to do it all. But he's, he's doing it right. He's, uh, I mean, it's obvious. He's an articulate guy. He's a smart guy. He's a seasoned, experienced guy, but he never did this. And most of the people that you're going to, if not all the people that you're going to attract for your board have never done it this way. In the last 25 years, I don't think we've had one board member on your board that ever did it this way. Because if they knew how to do it, they would have done it. No money. I mean, Christ almighty. I mean, what do you need? No money and you can buy it. Why wouldn't you do it? The real reason is because a lot of people talk about and they don't really want that. Because once you've done it, then by accident you've done it. They've been saying that I've just been lucky. They stopped saying that now the last five or 10 years. But the first 10 or 15 years of my life, dad's the luckiest son bitch that ever walked. I mean, there's no luck here, wet back Mexican and goddamn judges than that Danny Pina. Now that would hurt your feelings. Pedro, it would hurt, I know it would hurt your feelings for sure. It would hurt your parents' feelings if anybody even talked to you that way. Goddamn wet back Mexican. Oh, look, he must have stolen. That must be goddamn, uh, what do you call the, uh, when you put lenses in your eyes? That must be blue contact lenses. He can't have blue eyes, that goddamn Mexican. I could write a fucking 10 volume book about the shit that I took, you know, and yet I'm still here. I mean, Doc feels sorry for me that they talked to me that way and they weren't even saying it to her. Oh, pobrecito. <laughs> Don't feel sorry for me, kids. I've been living in this castle 35 fucking years with no depth, so. And you can still call me names. I used to say, call me anything, but give me the fucking money. Call me any, I, and when I say call me, I mean call me anything. And by God, I've been called everything known to man, just about. And now I'm getting heat because I tell, you know, I tell them about my testing and I got 6.6% black. Now I've got Hispanics. What are you telling people that for? You can't please all the people. You gotta please yourself first. Everybody else comes second. You can't be loved or love unless you love yourself first. Nobody loves Dan like Dan. And Sally would tell you, I worship the ground Dan walks on, but my love for my husband is transitory compared to the love he has for himself. Transitory means nothing. The love I have for myself transcends anybody's love for me. And I know, I'm not gonna get too religious, God loves us all supposedly, right? Well, he doesn't love me as much as I fucking love myself. I guarantee fucking tee it. I'll get a bunch of shit for that too, you know. Anything else about Deb? He's a smart guy. He's gonna, he may be the first guy to, to roll up a billion dollar company first. Not to roll back to default. Yep. Even a seasoned professional like he is, he said default's a bitch. And he has a very comfortable life. I mean, he's been a big earner for 20 of the 27 years. He falls a bitch. Anything else? You set yourself up right, don't look at you like a superman. When Pardon? If you set yourself up right, they'll look at you like a superman. Like when you, when you really start getting deals up. That's a good analogy. You want to be, you know, Superman. Now, see, I see all these Marvel shows. See, I see myself in all the Flash and all these guys that do Captain America. And I, those are the things that I dream about. And when you are exposed to high performance people that have gotten things done all their lives, <coughs> I'm surprised, I'm gobsmacked as they say in this country. I'm dumbfounded when something that I do doesn't work. I can't fucking believe it. Must be an heir. I mean, whereas most people, oh, okay, I understand, I understand. What do you mean, I you got a responsibility to goddamn shareholders at the motherfucking bank? What do you mean you turned me down? As opposed to, oh, you're thinking I knew it wouldn't work anyway. <laughs> QLA works for everybody but not me. That's not an exaggeration. When I read your fucking reports, I can see the tears. And then you suck up your pantyhose for the Zoom calls so you can look brave. You can tell by the Zoom calls who's knocking it out of the park and who's holding their putts just by the look on your faces on the Zoom call. Okay, YouTube, thank you.